Welcome to my garden. Welcome to the home of my bees, all 50,000 of them who, that are all kind of tucked away and ready for the winter. So you guys have asked about a video on fear, fear and skiing. And that's real. I don't care what level of skier you are, that's real. So let's talk about it. I've got a few ideas, very tangible ideas, and it has to do with mental skills, all right? And you practice mental skills like your pole plants, like edging, like anything on the hill, you practice your mental skills. Whatever you put into it is gonna come out on the other side. It's gonna depend on your resolve and your motivation. One thing about fear and skiing, you don't want to end up on the slope in the very area that you are fearful about and be thinking about this for the very first time in that moment. You probably already know what you are fearful of. Is it the bumps? Is it the trees? Is it a steep, icy pitch? Maybe, okay. So this is the time of year right now to start visualizing this. Visualizing is one of the tools, one of the mental skill tools that is really, really important in dealing with fear, okay? So I'm gonna give you an example of how I handled this with visualization. Val d'Isere, France, racing downhill, going down a mountain at 75 miles an hour to a really big jump where I was gonna fly a long way. And that jump scared me, okay? I had to anticipate, I had to plan, I had to think about this. So I did it in my head, all right? Visualizing the jump. I would visualize the speed. I would visualize the snow condition. I would visualize my temperament and my mood. I would visualize the movements that I needed to be successful in that situation. I played all of this over in my head, over and over and over again. Ultimately, I wanted to change those feelings of internal apprehension to feelings of mm, embrace. This is where I wanna be, I can do this, and this is what I'm gonna do about it. Something else. How many of you experience inconvenient thoughts at inconvenient times? I know it happens. It happens to everybody, okay? That is another mental skill to deal with that. My dad used to say a Teflon mind. So just like the egg in the skillet and that egg slips off, we need to have these inconvenient thoughts slip out of our mind, but it doesn't just happen because we want that to happen. We have to train, we have to practice. Those inconvenient thoughts come into your mind, stop, yell. Just like a crazy person, to reset the brain, jolt yourself out of that place so that you can start over with those positive thoughts, with those constructive thoughts that you need. Okay, here's the thing about skiing. When we are fearful, we tend to get rigid. We maybe get back and out of balance. We might get to the inside ski, okay? We are taking our skills away at the very moment we need them most. I learned that when I was flying over that jump, going 75 miles an hour. If I was apprehensive, if I was on my heels, I could die, all right? So it's this, this cycle. We, we come to this scenario that we're apprehensive about, and we've trained for this. We've worked on our skills. We've worked on our visualization. And in this moment, I have got a plan, and I am going to execute those skills so I can be successful at the very moment I need it the most when I'm apprehensive. Find your mental gym. It takes practice. This is the start of a very weird winter, everybody, and we are all in this together. But to make the most of this time, work on some of the mental skills. Good luck, everybody.